are back with another fun field of deliberation for your face. This time around, we are going to be looking at the best... We're going to be nominating the best Xbox One game of the year, 2022. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to throw it out. Grounded. I know. So out of left field. With uh, the plethora of exclusive titles to the Xbox catalog right now uh, that Grounded would somehow rise and become the cream of the crop. Uh, it's shocking. Grounded? Rise? Cream of the crop? Those metaphors. Yeah. I know. Well, I mean, <laughs> when when I first saw Grounded, I mean, there was no Xbox Series X announced at that point. I mean, they were still in meant to be in development for PC. And actually, this was, I want to say it was before the Obsidian acquisition was announced. Because it was... No, I'm thinking of no, I'm thinking of uh I'm thinking of Outer Worlds. But Grounded uh was being built for Xbox One and it plays pretty good for an Xbox One game. Yeah. That's one of the things that's been like a super boon to grounded in this transitional period between consoles is that that game scales very well whether you want it to look okay for an Xbox One game or whether you want it to look gorgeous for an for a Series X or PC game. Yeah, definitely. And even like when you consider that the Xbox One is now almost 10 years old, the game still looks pretty good on it, on that undated hardware and runs pretty well. Um, and if you're, if you've not yet upgraded to the next gen, you know, or current gen, more rather series of consoles, and you want to get in on a survival game, you can't go wrong with Grounded. And I yeah. think it's fair to say there's a few people out there who are not able to upgrade to the current gen of consoles for various reasons so it's more relevant than ever that something could actually you know play well like a modern in the conversation and trending game could play well on the old gen is actually important whereas yeah, it may not have been quite as essential and, and the yeah. game the game pass factor right like you know right. if you still have an xbox one you don't feel like investing in it because you're looking for your opportunity to to upgrade you can just keep that game pass subscription and try this game and still have a good time yeah and, yeah. and cross play cross play means that like you can play with your if you have friends that have xbox series x or if you have friends that have pc you don't have to be worried about being left out of the fun because the That's game is true. working and and very good cross play yeah. yeah, that's very true. Yeah, and you're it's, not secluded. It's just enjoyable too. Uh, we've you know played it a few times uh, on big team building. Well, it was tiny team building because we were little. Grounded. <laughs> yeah, because we were little people. Just tiny but, little. I mean, I don't think I've ever like screamed so much in a in a in a, a stream before. Honestly, like. Everybody, everybody was screaming because the minute you like wander off, you run into a giant spider or something. All of a sudden, like you're in panic. Everybody's running to find you and save you because you most definitely gotten killed by spiders. And then once we got to a point where we could start like fucking spiders up, like left and right. Oh man, it, like it, 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 it just the way that game scaled, and it didn't take that long to scale. I think within like two game sessions, we did you know, gotten pretty hardy and were able to, like, really start exploring uh, a, a lot more of the yard and discovering all sorts of crazy stuff. That that room with the ant, like, the ant heads on the spikes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just that so, yeah. so creepy and just out of left field, just stuff like that. But there's, like, a lot of fun stuff uh, to explore and discover in that game as well, and it's great. I don't know. A lot of my social time nowadays is definitely online, uh, playing games with friends. So it's it's Jeff. It's just a great option, and really enjoyable, and it's Obsidian, and mm. they make some serious quality shit, man. That should be yeah. their slogan. <laughs> some serious we quality. We make some serious shit, shit, man. Yeah, I I I think what I like most about it is it it evokes this childlike sense of wonder when you were a kid you'd go outside your backyard it was just this jungle to explore mm. and so i feel like being shrunk just kind of brings that back like this is a whole new terrain to learn to explore to fear to conquer it really um 
is a is a brilliant game with a lot of cool metaphors and, and non-authorial storytelling going on. It reminds me a little bit of um you know, there's certain cartoons that are kind of built for adults, but they still appeal to kids for different reasons. And like grounded to me is like it appeals to an age group like David Blake, like of us that we remember, you know, Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Um, and it has that nostalgic pull from that movie or that style of movie. Whereas someone who's younger, it's the art style and it's just it's just pure fun. So it actually has two different things. Like it can appeal to people of all ages for different reasons, but it's it's kind of unique in that it uh, it can do that. You often see games that are kind of built for like one group of folks or another group of folks or a demographic yeah. or something. And and this just sort of extends it where you could easily see someone being a parent and playing this with their kid and both of them enjoying it for yeah. different reasons. And it's also a great gateway introduct way to like introduce your kids to rick moranis if you if your kids like grounded and then you're having oh this is like honey i shrunk the kids and then you got to show them honey i shrunk the kids and they're gonna be like this rick moranis guy is amazing what other rick moranis is out there then you got to show them ghostbusters you got to show them the honey i blew up the baby you got to show my blue heaven Little shop of horrors, maybe when they're a little bit older, or depending on what age they're at now. Uh, same with my blue heaven. I don't know. That's all the Rick Moranis movies I can name off the top of my head. Man, uh, little love giants, for Canada, lovable film, Strange Brew. Oh little man, giants. there you go. Uh, good call. Good call. It's got a great. There's a great Rush song in that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. And let's see. Uh, hello there, Denny. How you doing? Hey, I lost my oh. voice. <laughs> but, oh boy, but I'm here. <laughs> oh man, sounding, sounding very yeah. ASMR. I sound like a chain smoker, but uh, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> well, uh, we'll let you rest your voice, Denny. Uh, we've got your nomination. Uh, here. Bill, if you want to read it off. Well, let's see if I can find it. Oh, you are uh, muted, Bill. Oh, yep, Bill's still muted. Oh, you muted my... Oh, he's probably talking oh. in the background. Or... All right, well... I was muted, all right, I'm good. <laughs> uh, I started hearing people like talk, and I'm like, why is everyone talking over me? It's like, no, it's you're muted, dude. Okay. Uh... So yeah, we don't have a nomination from uh, Denny uh, at this point, so he's going to have to use his voice to either vote. Um, but we do, however, have one from Asif. So uh, Blake, if you're ready to move on to the vote, then let me know and I can give you Asif's vote. All right. We're ready to do this. Okay. Uh, Asif's vote is for Grounded. All right, that's one for grounded. Uh, Denny, if you don't want to speak, raise your hand if your vote is for grounded for best Xbox One game. Oh, yeah, I was trying is. to help you out, but all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah ground, grounded is my uh, my choice for sure. Okay, uh, that's two for grounded. All right, uh, actually, everybody, just raise your hand if you're voting for grounded. Oh, it's wow, unanimous. Look at that. Look at that. That's very rare. It's very rare that we have that vote here. But I I don't know if that speaks to the quality. I think it speaks to the quality of Grounded more, though, than think, anything else. Does. Yeah. Not, I mean, you know. It I, does speak I, to the quality. It's a great game. Yeah. You're right, Blake. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like completely on the opposite spectrum from Halo. In. Dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm that's sorry, I'll stop. Yeah, that's bite. Gotta, down all that's the time. bite. <laughs> that <is> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and with that, the ruling is best Xbox One game of 2022 is grounded. Go home.